Are you confident enough to speak up in difficult situations? Hi there, I'm Summer Owens and welcome back to my channel. I empower organizations and individuals to become more confident and resilient leaders of teams or just their own lives. And I'm excited because I am still in the lessons, a hundred lessons my centenarian grandmas taught me. If you missed any of the lessons or the video on why I wrote this book and why I'm creating these videos, be sure you go back and check out those lessons um, and check out that video on why I wrote the book and why I'm doing these videos. I'm super excited because I'm still in the lesson. Now I'm on lesson 13 and this is in the lessons on confidence. And today's lesson, lesson 13 is speak up in difficult situations. Speak up in difficult situations. My grandma didn't shy away from speaking up in difficult situations, a trait that deeply ingrained in me the value of using my voice confidently. Whether it was through speaking or writing, their courage to assert themselves even when it was not the norm for women of their time taught me the importance of standing firm in my conviction. This lesson has empowered me to address challenges head on, knowing that my voice has power and is deserving of being heard. I've embraced their example by advocating for myself and others, which not only boosts my confidence, but also honors their legacy of resilience and strength. Each time I speak up, I carry forward their spirit, reinforcing my own self-worth and encourage others to do the same. Don't be afraid to voice discomfort or stop unacceptable behavior towards you. Speaking up is crucial in advocating for yourself and others who may not have a voice. It helps establish boundaries and even can prevent situations from escalating. Asserting yourself can also build self-confidence and earn respect from others. It teaches others how to treat you and sets a precedent for open and honest communication. By addressing issues directly, you can resolve conflicts more effectively and maintain healthier relationships. Okay, speak up in difficult situations. This is lesson 13 and this one is one that is very, uh, very special to me and very powerful to me because when I am a speaker and I am expressive and I have been expressive, um, for a very long time. You can ask my mom, <laughs> you can ask my dad. I'll tell you how I feel. And I think I've gotten better over the years. I at least tried to get better over the years of speaking up and doing it in a respectful way. But one thing I have, I think always been pretty good at is expressing how I feel. And a lot of that came from me observing as a child, people not speaking up, people not speaking up for themselves, people not speaking up for others, people just allowing things to happen that were wrong or that I felt were wrong. And things, and by things happening, I mean things happening to themselves, things happening to other people who matter and not them not saying anything. It made me mad, <laughs> it made me frustrated. And a lot of the times it was because I saw people being hurt, even the individual who wasn't speaking up being hurt or other people being hurt simply because nothing was said in a difficult situation. The other thing I observed was how situations just got worse when people were too afraid to speak up or too afraid to, to address a difficult situation, in most cases, it got worse. In fact, I remember writing a blog post many years ago and it was titled, A Stitch in Time Saves Nine. And that simply means by addressing the problem, fixing the problem in a timely manner will help you not have as big of a problem. If you don't fix that stitch early on, then you'll have way more stitches to fix. And in the case of speaking up, if you don't speak up, and many times if you don't speak up, if you don't say something, problem gets bigger and bigger and bigger and sometimes nearly impossible to fix. And so I've always been a big proponent for, for speaking up in difficult situations, whether that's for yourself and your own difficult situation or somebody that you care about or something that you're observing. As a, as a young girl being bullied, I wanted people to speak up for me even as a teen mom and people were really criticizing me and looking down at me, I wanted people to speak up for me as a single mom and as a single mom raising a son, I needed people to speak up and support. And so my own need for people to speak up really pushed me to be a person who, um, who has absolutely no problem speaking up for myself and speaking up for other people. So like with every lesson, and the hundred lessons that I'm sharing, I am uh, giving you five tips, five tips and five ways that you can apply that lesson. You can live that lesson in your life right now. 
No, you can't have that. You can't do that. Have you ever heard that voice, maybe from someone else or deep down inside of you saying, no, you can't. Ever felt like you weren't good enough, smart enough, or brave enough to have what you really want? You know, that promotion, that degree, that dream job, that house, that fulfilling relationship, that business, that life you've always imagined. Well, I'm confidence coach Summer Owens, and I'm here to tell you, yes, you can have it. And yes, you can do it. I'm the person to help you make it happen because I've been there. I faced doubts, fears, and setbacks head on. As a teen mom who was told my future was bleak, I chose to say so what to every obstacle I faced. I didn't let circumstances or self-doubt define me. I've probably done what you want to do. I've earned degrees. I've had dream jobs. I've launched business, written powerful books, bought houses, all while defying the odds. Now I want to help you to say so what to your fears and limitations too. I want to share my secrets to success with you in my Get the Guts to Go For It program. If you're tired of watching others live the life that you want and you're ready to turn your someday into today, let me help you embrace the so what mindset. Build your confidence and make your dreams a reality. Grab one of the limited spots for this program at GetTheGustToGoForIt.com. I can't wait to help you go for it. So how can you learn to speak up in difficult situations? If that's not something you do easily, if it's not something that you do naturally, let me give you five tips on how you can live this lesson and start to speak up in difficult situations right now. The first tip on learning how to speak up in difficult situations is to practice assertive communication. Practice assertive communication. Say how you feel. Say how you feel. They'll start to develop your assertive communication skills by saying, I feel this. I feel hurt. I feel this. Instead of blaming other people by saying, you did this. You did that. You said that. You can simply make the same statement by saying, when this happened, I felt this. Start to practice assertive communication by not being afraid to express how you feel. You matter. Your feelings matter. You may have seen a situation differently than it was even intended. But instead of internalizing that, holding grudges, being mad, which is what we often do, you can express how you feel. So start to practice assertive communication. Tip number two on how you can start to, to speak up in difficult situations is to practice and rehearse. And it may feel or may sound a little silly, but I encourage you to, to practice. So there is probably a situation, and even you can even do this right now, there's probably a situation in your life right now that it needs to be addressed and you know it needs to be addressed, but you haven't addressed it. Why? Because it's difficult. <laughs> because it's difficult. One thing you can do is to practice how you can deal with that, how you can speak up in that situation. So you can, there are a couple ways you can do it. And I talk about this um, even in my confidence class and in, in practicing. And that is one, you can get in front of a mirror and you can look at yourself in the mirror and you can say what that situation is. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't encourage you to point out. <laughs> I'm pointing at myself, but I would encourage you to practice. You can address that situation, look at yourself in the mirror and practice what you would say. And probably better yet and um, is to use a real person. Maybe not the person, you're probably not ready to deal with the situation with the person that the difficult situation is with, but you can use, you can practice with someone else. And I would encourage you to not necessarily practice with the easy person to talk to, but practice this, practice with someone who can give you feedback and who can help you even see the situation in a different way so that you can have a calm conversation, even in a difficult situation, you can have a calm, conversation in addressing a difficult situation it's about learning how to be how to be level-headed headed how to understand a little bit the other side you know completely un understand the other side but learning how to listen which i've talked about in another lesson probably a couple other lessons but practice and rehearse you already have a situation in your mind probably that is a difficult situation that needs to be dealt with um, that you need to speak up about, that you haven't spoken up about, that's a good one to practice for or practice with. And if you don't have one, you know some things that might happen or could happen in your life. You know some difficult situations that have happened in the past or that are even likely to happen in the future. You can practice with those. Tip number three on learning how to speak up in difficult situations. Start small. Are you the kind of person who just goes with the flow just always goes with the flow like whatever you want whatever even though you have feelings even though you have something that you actually want to do you just go with the flow because you're afraid to speak up or you choose not to speak up 
Well, I want to encourage you to start small. So maybe in learning how to build your confidence to speak up in difficult situations, you learn how to speak up in any situation. So maybe that is when it's a group of you and you're going, or a couple of people and you're going to eat and somebody asks where you want to eat or somebody throws out a place to eat rather than just going with it all the time i'm a pretty easy going person too i usually just go with it but if it's some if i have strong feelings or if it's something i don't want to do speak up and i encourage you to start with that speaking up it's like hey maybe we can consider another restaurant doing more of that starting small and speaking up and expressing your feelings or your thoughts in smaller situations will help you to build your confidence to speak up in more difficult situations. So start small. Tip number four on how you can live the lesson now. Live the lesson of speaking up in difficult situations is know your rights and your boundaries. Know your rights and your boundaries. First of all, have boundaries, <laughs> but then to recognize what your boundaries are. So whether that's in a in a work environment and you understand what your rights are and what your boundaries are should be at work or even in a personal relationship and knowing what your boundaries are and what you don't have to take, what you shouldn't have to take and what you just don't want to take. Understand what those rights are and what those boundaries are. So that's an important in learning how to speak up is first of all, you have to know what what the boundaries are and what your rights are so get educated on your rights and then as far as boundaries go set your boundaries understand what makes you feel hurt what makes you feel disrespected um and what doesn't make you feel good set your boundaries and say this is not okay understand first of all what's not okay and then learn how to communicate assertively what's not okay but first you do need to understand what your rights are and you do need to set boundaries and fifth tip on how to live the lesson of speaking up in difficult situations is to seek support is to seek support so maybe you are a person who is not as aggressive or assertive you don't speak out because it's not comfortable for you it's not something that's easy to do but it is important to do like i said there's something i learned and show from my grandmothers in a lot of ways. And I had other examples in my life where it's like I saw the impact of not doing it. So if you are the person that that's, it's a challenge for you, seek support and seek support in the sense of ask for guidance on how to do it. Ask for backup when you're doing it. Sometimes it's a whole lot easier to speak up in challenging situations if you're not alone. If it's a situation where you know you're right and other people know you're right, encourage people to speak up and support you but again seek advice give feedback ask people how you can express yourself in the way that you need to express yourself to get your feelings and your thought heard especially in difficult situations again whether that's speaking up for yourself or that's you speaking up because you see someone else you needs you to speak up for them and that's lesson 13 speak up in challenging situations life is hard <laughs> There will always be challenging situations, whether it's your own situation or it's an, a situation that someone that you care for is dealing with. But learning how to speak up for yourself and learning how to speak up for others helps to build your confidence and, and helps to get you what you want and what you deserve in life. It keeps you from being mistreated. It helps to get you further. Um, it helps you to get support if you are speaking up for other people, other people more likely to speak up for you. And most importantly, you need to learn how to speak up and advocate for your for yourself. Stay tuned for more and more lessons. If you like this video, like this video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a single video that's coming with me sharing a hundred lessons on a hundred lessons my centenary grandma's taught me. Motherly wisdom, timeless advice on confidence, resilience, leadership, and life. Subscribe to the channel. Don't miss a sequel video. I'll see you soon.